received a call in our office about a half an hour ago about uh, a family of raccoons living in a cabana and the homeowners are quite anxious about it they wanted the problem solved ASAP um, they're afraid for you know themselves and, and for their children so uh, we've dealt with it as an emergency so we're here to uh, to go check out the cabana and see what we can do let's go we're in Toronto kind of the Avenue Road Lawrence area we jump and release the gate oh there's the pool we have a duck in the pool as well and that would be the cabana in question and here's the cabana because so, if I was a raccoon that's who I'd want to be up in the ceiling so there she is there she is cool hey mama hey mama there you are oh mama hey coming at me Come and get me. Well, this could be an interesting one. She seems to be very aggressive here. I think we might have to snare her. She's coming really close here. See, this is within a foot of the camera. A little nervous. Okay, hey mama. Hey. I think I gotta get a snare pole. Pacing back and forth here. Hey? What's up? Just here to evict you. Not gonna hurt you. Not gonna hurt you. But I'd like to see how aggressive she might be here. Oh yeah. Come on. Hey. Oh jeez. She is an aggressive one. This is not oh, what I was hoping for. I think I'm gonna have to snare her. As much as I really don't want to. You stay back. Come and get me. Come on down. Come on down. She's coming down. Okay, she's trying to. She's trying to come down. She comes in. Go on, mom. One up. Back. She went under the fence at the back of the property there. So that's a bonus. Now we can deal with the babies without worrying about being attacked by her. Very, very bold mother. Extremely bold mother. I had my heart pounding on that one. Okay, I'm just going to close the door because we have seen situations where you pick up the babies and mom hears that and comes running. There he is. Well, there's two, at least two in here. We're in a very tight space here. Uh, uh, okay. So. One by the scruff of the neck. Holy moly, man. Come on. Pretty entrenched in here. Not much space. Come on, buddy. Once I get your head through. Have you? 
He's grabbing on pretty good in there. Okay, after much struggling, these babies aren't gonna fit through the gap they went down in. Um, their head has to go into the hole in a certain direction and they're not coming out that way. I'm gonna go on the outside and I will uh, open up the roof so that I can take them out from the outside, not from uh, in here, because that's next to impossible. Okay, we should have it. Should have it open enough now to be able to take this one baby out. So, I'm gonna reach in. I got three all together. This guy, he's got his head wedged into the corner here. They can bite. Hey, come on, get your head up. There he is. They can bite, but I don't think he's gonna. Pretty docile, not like mum. Come on, buddy. Come on out. Whole new world out here for you. Just trying to get a grip around the back of his neck. Okay. There's number one. So, reach in and grab this guy. Come on, buddy. So the idea is that their head must come out first. So. Very gently, just trying to maneuver in front of the head. Never seen the outside before, have you? Come on. And just then his shoulders. Ease his shoulders out. And we got him. So there's number two. Hey, buddy. So this is the last guy. This is the guy we first tried to pull through from inside. But he wouldn't come out. Come on, he's, he's really burying his head in the corner there. There we go. Okay, come on, buddy. What's going on, this little boy? He's a boy, waving his arms. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we're ready to put these babies into the box. Um, very healthy, very dark in color, um, darker than most. This is the docile of the three babies. As you'll see when I bring out the other two, they're uh, much more along the lines of mother. And they'll, uh, they'll probably be screaming. So I'm gonna put them in the box right near the door where the mum was entering and exiting the shed. So tonight when she comes back, she'll try to get back to where she thinks they are in the attic and she'll stumble across them um, right here. So, and they've already started growling as I'm getting ready to pull them out. Oh, so, brother wants that. So, you can hear this scream. This screaming is just the best of the I don't like what they're doing. But, uh. <laughs> there's a whistle. A whistle scream that. I can't even talk, he's so loud. Biting his head. They do whistle to, uh, to call mum and say, mum, come help. There is a little bit of one right there. That's the whistle I'm talking about. It, uh, that's mum, where are you? I'm in trouble, come help me. And again, the aggressiveness is just like, I'm a bad boy, you don't want to mess with me, leave me alone. There's two of them in the box. There we go. One last one. And he also is very aggressive. In the sense that he's growling and snarling. Covering his eyes. You gotta be careful because they can bite at this stage. They can bite pretty good. Just keeping an eye out for mother because the type of screaming sometimes will bring her. So as you can tell, the first one, very docile, didn't say a peep. You know, probably has the male gene of, uh, you know, just kind of docile, and the last two have got the mother's gene of aggressiveness. Right? Is that right? <laughs> okay, so, we got Tim in the box. We're gonna, because they can climb out of this box, I'm just gonna close it almost completely shut, just enough so Mum can open it, but uh, they won't get out during the day. And we got a ventilation strip here to keep them uh, cool. And they're in the shade, which is good. 
So we'll come back tomorrow to uh, to check up on the box and uh, all should go well. Mom will come back tonight and they, they're actually big enough to follow her. If she gets them all out of the box, they'll be able to kind of keep uh, pace with her as she goes foraging tonight and then she'll have a place for them uh, somewhere in the neighborhood, uh, possibly under someone's deck or shed um, to, uh, to keep them safe during the daytime. So, job complete. We're out of here.